um, hey guys, um, sorry I have not made any videos since over a week ago. Um, anyways, um, today's video I'm gonna review my, my three movie collection, which I don't have all of them, uh, which is my Harry Potter movie collection, which I don't have the, um, like one of the last Harry Potter movies. But my sister has the box set of these movies, but even though I think she's a fan of Harry Potter, like I am, but I watch all the Harry Potter movies, like back when I was um, 12 or 13 years old. Man, I love those movies, even though it was really good, though I don't, I did not read the Harry Potter books, which they do have, but that, now, now these movies, um, based on the Harry, Harry Potter books, so, yeah. Yeah, this is a um this is a Harry Potter book guide which um like this one came out I think it was like this year. But you can buy it at Walmart though. I mean it, it actually have a lot of image to this book, but really good book though. So but um I the reason why I take my glasses off is because um like you can see lighting in my white to my my lens from my glasses, so this is why I'm gonna take it off. So yeah, so this right there is Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Now I think the first one is actually an enjoyable film, but even though um, yeah, even though since um it came like two DVDs, yeah, you know, one is the regular movie and one is the two disc um dish, uh, special features. Man, it's like a book, but it does have like two. Two um, you have two um, D uh, two DVDs on it. So, yeah, it yeah you can also go to a website, but because this is what it says on the back of the movie case. No, it doesn't. If you had this case, like this, it has a website on the back of it, but it's like a gift shop. But it looks really neat though. So. Yeah, I don't have the Chamber of Secrets, which is a second Harry Potter, but I might, but I will skip it to Harry Potter and the Prison, Prisoner of um, Exorb, and I don't know how you say it, but this is the third one. But yeah, I do like this movie. Um, yeah, even though, um, yeah, even if something annoying is uh, about the night bus, just like, Going through like the second or beginning of this movie, man. I bet this movie is an enjoyable film. But yeah, two DVDs and also I know I cannot hold it to steel. But I can tell you that it does um, cave a regular DVD and a regular um, uh, not regular but um, the second disc of uh, special features. So yeah, sorry I just said it too fast or not too long. I don't know where did my sister get this, but it's only ten bucks though. I just had it. So yeah, next one is um let's see, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I just can't explain it. This is the fourth one. But yeah. You know, in, when I watched it oh yeah, it does have one D V D in it, which it doesn't have a special feature in this movie. Man, I don't, um, hold on, well, hold on, I'm gonna say, um, we all know Harry Potter, um, also played by Daniel something, I don't remember what he played by, I do know, um, Dumbledore, I don't know, I don't remember what he, what Dumbledore play, plays by, I'm really, I'm gonna apologize that, I'm really sorry, I, um, I could not remember any of these characters who play by, but I do know Professor Severus Snape, which I did not, which I do know what he plays by Alan Alan Rickman, which he passed away like a year ago, which is 2016. Yeah, he is a really good actor though. He's yeah, he's a really good actor. I, I like him. Ever since um, he does like he does different kind of shows for movies and all that stuff besides Harry Potter. But yeah, yeah, this is Harry Potter: The Goblet of Fire. Fifteen bucks. Um. Yeah, I do want to let you know, it is a really sad, it is a really sad scene, 
Yeah, Cedric, who played by um, Robert something, he also plays on Twilight. Um, yeah, it does have Voldemort in it, which um, it really does have a good, really good actional. Yeah, has, um, I mean, it is a magic trick, though. We all know that, so, yeah. Yeah, the um, sixth one. No, not the sixth one, the fifth one, sixth one, seventh one, the eighth one. The seventh one, the eighth one, the seventh one is the um, the Deathly Hallows part one, and the eighth one is the Deathly Hallows part two. I do not have that. My sister has it on her box set, which I used to watch it. And it was really, yeah, like, some of the movies were really sad, which I really, disappointing. Not disappointing, but I just feel bad for it, though. But as I was saying, though, you know, we all know Harry Potter was a really good movie, though. Um, I do have, this is the toy magic wand, though. You can put it together with different parts in it, but now what, what is the big problem is the peg will break just like it does. So, but I just super good, I just super good to back together. But even though it's just um too crooked, yeah, y'all know that it's just um break apart easily. If you do it too like try to do it too tight harder, it'll break. So don't. So like if you want to buy one of these, I don't remember what where I buy it from. It did came within the box, so I just um I guess you can get it from Amazon or something that co it had to cost cheap. So yeah. So this is my Harry Potter uh, movie collection. That's all. That's all. If I can show you all of it, I don't have any of the Harry Potter movies. Mine only has like three, which is the first one, third one, and the, uh, the fourth one. Yeah, even though the fourth one was really sad, but I do like it though. But yeah. Anyway, anyway, you got. Oh, I forgot this. Um, the first movie came out in two thousand one. Yeah, yeah the. Yeah, the third one came out in 2004. And the fourth one, I think the fourth one came out in 2005. Yeah, I loved it though. I really enjoyed watching all of them. But yeah. So. Yeah, ever since I'm, I'm, now I'm just, I got, now I'm just a dude who's wearing glasses. But yeah. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Just leave a like and subscribe. Um, hit that like button and let me know what movies what I what I should do. But probably up next I should review my Blu-ray DVD collection, which I rather would do that. So yeah. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys. I hope either next time or tomorrow. See ya.